cry, baby, didn't I hear you? Can cry, baby, didn't I hear you? Till when you were there, my man, you need me more. My man, I'm a soul, and you were dead, eh? My man, I be with me, I sing all night long. And I'm gonna do it till they sing my song. I just wanna ball, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's funny, Jack. Oh, it's jamming, I'm a jamming, I'm a jamming. That's how we're jamming, I'm a jamming. I've been tripping, tripping on you. Make a show the mood and read it. Say, I'm a jamming, I'm a jamming, I'm a jamming. I've been tripping, tripping on you. Think I showed them who the real is. Say, ah. Tell me what you know about that. This is for my homies with a swag like that. Go and get your money, then you ball right back. Say, it be I know we'll get more than they like that. Tell me what you know about that. This is for my homies with a swag like that. Go and get your money, then you ball right back. Say, it be I know we'll get more than they like that. Kuti wo ho yo babe tu je mai Si ken ni sunye na fe ni pray mai Bati me ni a bati a ma shit ray bans Me si me ni me si ma sun hu se me ba bi e kwain Na bi yi ma shi a te sell this shit Mi vi mi pizza re me beg a sa su re ma beti Yeah me na miss ya Swag ane ye extraordinary Ma shi a to se te se boga kupa li ni waka pa I'm looking japa Me ma mi hu cha te se chapa I ko ti bon fwe ye ne kasan ti me yi ni fo su kwa Me babe shi ni se designer Kama kama mi si tawa mana to me Ni kwa se me brag if I didn't know that I'm the sh** Do it so effortless. Lose friends, but I never lose my self-respect. Being real, make it tell them check. Ti jami na me yami kese. That's how we are money yese. I've been dripping, dripping on you. Make I show them who the real is. Say ah, jami na me yami kese. That's how we are money yese. I've been dripping, dripping on you. Make I show them who the real is. Say ah. I'm a soon chin chain, I never wanna waste no time. Uh, you see, I got a need in my room, run to jam and make a sweat inside. Uh, uh, at a deep like I'm in the 90s, at the back of the club, that's where you find a pop. Good morning. How are you? It is 40 days till August 9th. If you are feeling some type of way about this information, that is up to you. But me, my job is to make you feel welcome here. This is Why in the Morning. And you can interact with us at White 54 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on the ground. The hashtag of the day is Thursday Vibes. We have just concluded a very, very interesting conversation with Stephanie Ayeta. Of course, they were talking about uh, privacy and all things media social media and that kind of gets me worried because you know when they ask me a terms and conditions do I agree I don't even read I just agree <laughs> I'm worried <laughs> wait I gotta start reading it's fine it's fine but now we get to the juicy and the saucy part of the day which is with our favorite entertainers now it is my it well, I don't even know how to explain myself I don't know how to express myself I feel so good I don't think I've ever met a Ghanaian before never even had the honor to interview one before so ah, we just finished playing one of his songs called Balling and he's about to tell us a little bit more about himself are you even ready hashtag is this device hi Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. Out I there. feel really good meeting you. Really, Same really here. good. I'm going to tell my mom all about it. My <laughs> mama made it. <laughs> Please uh, introduce yourself to the people. Well, Habari Kenya. Eh? Go by the name Kofi Jama from Ghana. I try to be precise. I'm an Ashanti from the Ashanti region. That's my tribe. And, you know, music is my thing, and I'm here to spread the gospel also. Yeah. Uh-huh, the, the gospel of what? The, the, the normal gospel that I know? Yeah, like music, I feel music <laughs> is a gospel, you know. And I'm tell here to spread the good news. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so wait, please tell me about the Ashanti tribe, small, small, because I... Okay, we, uh, Ashanti tribe, we, I feel like we, we migrated from, one thing that Africans don't know, we, we migrated from around Nubia, Egypt, the Nile Valley. You're That's near Nubian? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I feel like most of Africans migrated from that side. Mm. But there's a lot of history that's been covered up. Mm -hmm. But uh, Ashanti's, that's where we're from. And I think we have a little bit of similarities with uh, the Kenyan culture also. And I feel like Africans, we, we were what all... What kind of we were all You're same playing with my feelings. So what kind of similarities a, a, do you have? A, 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 a lot of them. A lot of them. The little that I've seen. Maybe food. Yeah, food. Yeah, food, food, yeah, yeah, food looks the same, you uh -huh. know. And food and kind of like the, the 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 delicacies and the meals i think yeah it's it's quite similar you know what's your favorite kenyan meal so far wow wow uh -huh. <laughs> i'll say okay since i came i've, I've not been eating like original kenyan food Uncle, 
to KFC. After, no, not KFC though. Mm -hmm. But I've had Kenyan tea. It's very nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I've had rice. I think as a mati rice, and I love the texture, how it tastes in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We must fix that situation. I will speak to your team shortly after this. <laughs> that is vibes. I mean, we are known for food yes, so and foolishness. We, we, we like funny things. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your musical journey. And I saw you've been nominated. Okay, basically, guys, he's a very big deal. And I want to finish by reading a couple of comments on his current audio that he put up on YouTube with Papa Jones himself. Yes. But before that, let's let him give us a small, small education on how he's been doing like how have you been doing this musical I've been industry doing, i've been doing great you know mm -hmm. uh, I'm, 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 as, as if i still feel myself as an upcomer because it's not been long since i blew up in ghana and i, I didn't I, I don't want to stay at one place for long you know i felt it's time to try to spread my name and spread the culture and in, in, intermingle with other african cultures and create something unique mm -hmm. that's how i feel and that's the legacy i'm trying to build you know to build that, that kind of contemporary African music with all the vibe that's included to make African music sound much more uh, better, you know, mm -hmm. and, and get somewhere more uh, afar. So I, I, I blew up in Ghana and uh, we came from the culture, that, that the whole drill culture mm -hmm. that's been speeding off in Africa recently. And I even know Kenya have been hopping on that. Yes. Yeah. With the oh Brooklyn gosh. boys and Wakadinali <gasps> boys. He yes, was Brooklyn yeah. boys. Oh my gosh. And Wakadinali. <laughs> yes. So, ah, yes. See, so, we so, just so, with them. It's yep, so yep, 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 yep. <gasps> it's like you're in my mind already, <gasps> Charlie. We, we are planning to do something with them and it's going to be big, you know. So, I believe in sort of mingle, mingling with culture mm. and creating something unique. Yeah. Mm. You're getting me excited. <laughs> very, very excited. Okay, okay, okay. Hashtag is <laughs> Thursday vibes. So you sound like you're a bit more open, not to just drill. Like, so you don't do one genre. Yep. Do you follow the wave? Because just recently we've had an Ama Piano wave. Ama Piano has been there for the longest yeah. time. But for some reason, East Africa has been flooded yeah. with Ama Piano. Yeah. Everyone wants to jump yeah. on the beat. Is that something you're also thinking about doing? How do you choose what to what sound to create at what period of time? Yeah, I feel like the wave is also among, you know, because mm -hmm. the drill, I, I, was, I was not doing drill since it, till it came. Mm -hmm. And I had to lend my voice to it because that's oh. where I was from. And I had to do something for the hood mm -hmm. where I'm from so that they can jump on also for the street also. And that's how it came. So. Uh, in now what streets? You look like you come from the leafy suburbs. <laughs> I'm, I'm a mist, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I grew up from the streets and I've been able to experience a little bit of the city life also. So I think it's all interrelated. You uh -huh. can take me out of the ghetto, but you can never take the, the ghetto, ghetto out, out of me. The ghetto out of the yeah, I get yep, that. Yep, okay. yep. That's how it goes. And uh, I feel wave, wave is a really a big factor when it comes to you trying to make a song that goes out there. But for me, I try to add something unique to it. So it wouldn't be just riding the wave, but it would be something much more like different vibes that so incorporated into the wave. So I think, I feel like music interrelates, you know, F uh, the same way Afrobeat, we can do Afrofusion and they have a lot of other genres when it comes to the Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. Same as drill music, they, are, they have different types of drill music. Mm -hmm. So in our part of the country, we took the drill music and infused the high life kind of uh, sound into it, the mm -hmm. African fusion into it to make it sound more our own. Mm -hmm. So that's how I feel. Like any wave that I jump on, I try to incorporate something new into it. And in a way we can form new genres and make something oh, unique. Like not, that. not every time the same music that mm -hmm. we're listening to. I think music evolves every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We had previously off air, so sorry, but actually quite not get to know each other. So previously <laughs> off air asked him a question and he, he reminded me that he had a song already in 2020 with Papa Jones and Ice Prince. But me, yeah. what got me in that conversation was Ice Prince. That name, yo, there was yeah. a time we could not sleep without hearing Ice Prince. Yes. No, if you don't know him, it's Ole Kuhu, the guy. Uh, Timaya used to disturb us. Uh, Emma, Mr. Incredible used yep. to disturb us. So how do you stay relevant? Because I don't know how they're doing in their part of the world, but I don't know. It's just a, a, a certain generation that understands who yeah. they are and what, how big of a deal they really they were, were at the yeah. time. How do you remain relevant as an artist? Well, I feel like most of all, I let my music speak for me. I try to make songs that like 
a classic that stands the test of time. And I don't, I don't try to uh, involve myself with any new wave that comes. I try to stick to my own wave and create something unique. That's as I've always been saying. And mm. I think you, you, if you let your music speak for you anytime, I think that helps. Mm -hmm. There are people always trying to chase cloud. Mm -hmm. But I think if you chase cloud, it lasts for a time being. Mm -hmm. But when people begin to associate you with that, mm -hmm. they always want you to go that way before you can be heard. Mm -hmm. But if you stick to your music and you let it blow off for you and let your music speak for you, mm -hmm. I think it will always do that for you. You wouldn't need to come show off before people see you. Your music will be everywhere and it will still keep raining. Okay, now I see I'm, I'm a little bit um, leaving my questions behind, but what he said was very important. I like what you said with the, with the controversy that's around artists. I yeah. don't know if there's a thing that Kenyon started, I don't know if it was two years ago or something, but right before they release a the track, there is what Kiki. Kiki is um, like a, a story that is yeah. not necessarily true, but it's, it's very dramatic. Yeah. And I think the point is to so that we can flood the social media so they can tell us, <laughs> we have a brand new song. <laughs> is that something you're into? Because nah, it's exhausting. Nah, yeah. it's exhausting, you yes. know. And I, it's, it's, I, don't, I don't deal with a lot of controversies in mm. music. I'm the type that would want to do the music. I would want to perform on stage. That's where I want you to see me. But on the streets, I want to be normal like everybody and just fade in. Mm. I don't like that too much of the attention. Mm. I just want the music is what I came to give you. And that's what is really important. Mm -hmm. For me, it's not just the me that I'm showing off for you, mm -hmm. but the music is really important. So you have to let your music speak for you anytime. And whenever you announce a release date, people are going to flood to it. You wouldn't need any controversy. People are going to flood to it to listen to your music. I like that. So yeah. no need to do extra things nah, for, all right. It's not necessary. We have an artist called Iani, and I used him as an example last week, simply because his, his story is quite unique. Iani has been an artist in the game, the Kenyan scene, for an a long time. However, Iani, Iani started making noise, th the most noise, just a couple of weeks or months ago. As But the point is, um, a couple of artists now are being interviewed, yeah, and, and we were all referring to the same person, and we're like, eh, when he used to sing this kind of content, you know, he we were not, and I say we because I also cannot give you a list of three songs of Yanni that are not recent. <laughs> so the new ones are basically club bangers and they revolve around alcohol and good time. And those things slap when you're going out. Please, I'm not judging you. <laughs> are you if you find me dancing yes, alone, yeah. don't give me hard time. <laughs> are we dictating what you're telling us? It, must you give us what we want to hear or we won't listen to you? Do you feel like that? Do you feel that kind of pressure? Yeah, one time, you, artists need to pay attention to what is going out there. You know, I feel like artists, kind of like, you're a journalist reporting what you see and you put it in a song so that Whoa. people can, yeah, so that people can vibe to it. So it's really important to write your music around things that people can relate to, the everyday things that we see, but you find a unique way to tell that story. So that's, that's, that's something that's I like that. Did you just call yourself a journalist? I like that. <laughs> I really like that. You have been nominated for an award or awards. Tell me yeah. about that. Yeah, that, 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 I think that's three, uh, three, uh, three music awards. That's an award scheme in Ghana. But already I've won Ghana Music Awards UK. Mm -hmm. And I've won uh, Ghana uh, th uh, three music awards the last year, recent year for mm -hmm. uh, best collaboration of the year. And I've also won Best Hip Hop of the Year with mm -hmm. my junior Koso. I think that was last year and this year too. So, yeah. Now, I see God gives you what you can handle. Me, if I had won something, the UK would not be asleep, guys. <laughs> you would not sleep. <laughs> I would tattoo it somewhere. You would know <laughs> what has just happened. <laughs> I don't know. How do you stay so humble? Or is this just for the TV? No, nah, it's not just for TV, uh -huh. but I'm just cool like that, you know? Uh huh. Yeah. Hi. Wasani. We call artists Wasani. Wasani. <laughs> All right, so I will do you a favor and tell you again that he has a brand new track with Calligraph Jones, Papa Jones, and it has been uploaded 17 hours ago. That, that's just the audio. We'll get to the video in a minute. All right, so ah, I asked him if he reads his own comments. <laughs> <laughs> he said sometimes. So let me help. So we have, um, no, 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 this is business development specialist says, no, 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 this Jamar guy is underrated. Listen carefully to all his tunes if you're a true lyricist. How does that make you feel? 
I feel like someone is listening. Someone yeah. finally gets mm. you. All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, this one you help me. I don't think I understand. Dance hop, hip hop, Afrobeat, hip life, all in one. Kofi and Jones do all. I don't know what this means. Asonaba Kuabrafuso. That's the name. Somebody's name. Yeah. Asonaba, I think. Yo, this whole name. thing is one name. <laughs> 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 okay all right uh sorry my kenyan people og is now ghanaian i don't think so <laughs> let's let's get coffee on the kenyan side please thank you <laughs> i am an og fan i got coffee jamal on this aha uh -huh. coffee jamal is really talented god bless him hey all right so there's a lot happening here but before we get to more and talk about the video and when it's dropping we'll take a small break don't go away Y254 Imagine To all our prospective candidates Are you an aspiring candidate in the upcoming general elections? Do you want your agenda and manifesto to reach your voters effectively? At KBC, we have the most comprehensive and credible online platform that has profiles of all prospective candidates. Log on to www.kbc.co.ke slash 2022 aspirants and let Kenyans know more about you, your past achievements, your manifesto and your development agenda once you get elected to office. What's more, the website is easy to navigate. We will create your profile, post pictures and short videos with your campaign messages at affordable hosting fees. Log on to www.kbc.co.ke slash 2022 aspirants today and establish your brand authority as we lead towards the forthcoming general elections. This is a place of transformation. I impress him. This guy knows everything. A place of motivation. This is a place of information. Let's talk about social issues. Let's talk about life issues. When a woman earns her own money. Let's talk about relationships. The ex could have a weakness. Mm. And the current, it's not, even if it's not about cooking. Let's talk about you. Tune in to Y254 TV each and every Thursday from 11 a.m. My name is Ram Aguko and this is Power Talk. Y254 Imagine Good morning. We are still watching Why in the Morning. The hashtag is still Thursday Vibes. And we are in a studio with Kofi Jamar. But first of all, guys, before we go anyway, I told you he's Ghanaian. I'm very excited. However, I did discover, because I was slightly stalking him on Instagram, that it was his mommy's birthday yesterday. So happy birthday, mommy Kofi Jamar. Yeah, she does not look like your mom. <laughs> she does not look like your mom. Eh, eh. How, how instrumental has she been in this journey of yours? Yeah, she's, she's I, I say she's my all, you know, and she's also like the, 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 uh, the, uh, the CEO of my label mm -hmm. also, and she's like basically everything, she's like my guardian, my inspiration, and my role model, like a female role model, how can you think of that? Mm -hmm. She's she's acquired everything that I would want to acquire in life, and she's like, she's a symbol of hope and mm -hmm. yeah, faith for me. Oh, yeah. you love your mommy, <laughs> don't you? All right, so previously we were catching up on a couple of comments on his track Dangerous with Papa Jones. Baranu just dropped the audio 17 hours ago. What is it, Jana? 17 hours ago. All right, so there's, there's, there's a lot of wonderful Kofi Jamar. Give him a Grammy. You all must respect Calligraph Jones for this. Uh, man is blessed. Kofi, you're too talented. And then there's just one person who is just upset with life <laughs> and has nothing nice to say. How do you deal with that? Well, 
first and foremost, you can't please everybody, you know. That's one lesson that I've learned. Even the hard way. The, even the greats, those who, who came and did something great for the world, left a huge legacy, wasn't liked by everybody. So I keep that in mind every time. And looking at where I've, I'm from, I came from the street side, you know. Mm -hmm. I've, I have a tough skin. I've, you, but you, soft you, face. Yeah. <laughs> you encounter a lot of mm -hmm. people that would say it to your face, things that you wouldn't want to hear. And you have to accept that. Oh. You have to deal with it. So me, this, I think this uh, unless, uh, uh, a bad version for me because I can deal with it mm -hmm. and I have a tough skin for that. that I like know. that. They say PR is PR. There's no good PR. There's no bad yes, PR. So. It's just PR. True. As long as you've commented, that's an extra yeah. comment. So when I got like, ah, it's all Boris comment. <laughs> eh. Okay, okay. Tell me about your management. It seems very well packaged. Yeah, that's got one request for you. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm the first artist signed onto the label. And we hope to be one of the biggest uh, labels out of Africa. And we, right now, it's, it's, it's in Ghana. And the, the U.S. Yeah, uh -huh. it's in Ghana and Virginia, so we are still tr trying to spread across and uh, yeah, get get out there more. Do you live in between? Like, do you travel a lot to the U.S. and then back to Ghana, or is, do you just travel to market your music and and meet yeah, new artists? Yeah, most times I just travel to market my music, and when there are tours to for me to go on and like concerts. Yeah, that's when I get to travel. Uh, me, small money, I would have a bed sitter in the U.S. somewhere and start <laughs> taking pictures and tell you guys how I'm abroad. <laughs> Woo! I told you, God gives you what you can handle. Okay. <laughs> tell us about Now the Dangerous video. When do we expect yes, it to so be dropped? Uh, how was it working with Papa Jones? Shout out to Kali. <laughs> Grab Jones, that's the OG. Must be respected in time, you know, <laughs> for... Uh, for agreeing to be on this track with me and because he's he's somebody that i've been looking up to for a long while when it comes to hip-hop down in africa mm -hmm. he's like on top of my list and it's a great it's a great it's a great sign to be like be powering with him on a track you know mm -hmm. not many rappers can stand with papa jones on a song you know so he showed much love he showed up for the video when we i just when we landed i think the same day we landed we showed the video the same day i landed in kenya wow. I didn't even get to sleep or something. We just wow. had to make it happen, uh -huh. and he had to go. He had to go to Rwanda the next day, uh -huh. so he had to be. He, he just showed up for me, and we we did the video. So shout out to Calligraph Jones for showing that much huge love. I appreciate it. It was shot by Benny, that's mm -hmm. the a director here in Kenya. Beautiful scenes that I know you're gonna love it. So it's coming out 5 p.m. today's time. So you guys should watch out for it. You have a very high standard for your video, like just the one we previously watched, Bowling. Yeah. Is, is I, my kind of name on social media is Color Me Vow, so colors excite me. Yes. Sir. Very much. Yes. So that bowling video has so many delicious <laughs> colors. I, are, are we planning <laughs> to see that also? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Loki, what are you doing wearing Masai's clothes? Like, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> What were you doing on your Instagram? I saw you wearing the, the Maasai yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, uh, when I came here, you know, I had to, I'm, I'm, I'm a historian also, you know. Mm -hmm. I love to learn about my roots and learn about where we came from in Africa as a whole, you know. It's, it's, we have a lot of rich culture, so I had a chance to meet up with some of the Maasai and, and, and a chance to be in their club. Mm -hmm. You know, I loved it. It's, it's, it's something. You blended well. Yeah. <laughs> People are saying I, I look like them, so I yes. should come back home. And I love it, you know. He's Kenyan now, I told you. He's very Kenyan now. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You just and need I've, to find your wife. Eh? Yeah, and I've heard, I've heard about them, and this was in a way to show solid, solidarity with them also for like the recent happenings happening to them all, and, all, and, and, and every way. Cause this, this, these are like quite of like some ancestors to us mm -hmm. and we are keeping our culture so we shouldn't lose the trace of the Maasai ever. We shouldn't let them go extinct. We should That's keep true. them around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, I really like your appreciation for the culture. Okay. It's, it's not it's not easy because everyone wants to be Western nowadays. Everyone yeah. wants to wear the way the Western is. Eh, please, not, like, as you can see, I'm, I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> eh, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so everyone kind of wants to look like people from, I told you abroad is not just United States, abroad can be Ukraine, abroad yes. can be Russia. We're not advising you to go to Ukraine or Russia, but <laughs> yes, please keep an open mind. But I really like the way that you rooted literally yourself to your continent and yeah. it's, it's a beautiful thing to see. Are you going to do that, do a video with, with 
with attire yes. from different oh. yes i am hire me oh you <laughs> see we're already in sync yes so ah you're gonna talk about that ah <laughs> okay all right what would you like to tell your kenyan fans who just seen you for the first time well uh, i like to appreciate them and i love their taste for music you know kenyan Kenyan fans know good music and they really listen. Because the first time I did a song with Calligraph Jones, they showed me huge love. You can go on the YouTube com section, the comments, crazy. Kenyans flooding on my comments, my Instagram, my Twitter, and I appreciate them. And I'm here because of the love they showed back in 2020. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, yo, you have to go where you have been accepted mm -hmm. and go where people love your music. So I'm here to vibe with them and I appreciate each and every one of them supporting or streaming my music, Charlie. I'm not nev never gonna let them down. This is for Africa, and we're gonna make it big. Bless hey. up. You sound like Burner Boy just before he blew up of just disrespectfully and started winning Grammys and all that. <laughs> so I can't wait to see your face that I've, I've interviewed. Yes. Evidence. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you to, to reach heights you, you have not imagined yet. I cannot wait mm -hmm. for you for that. Uh -huh. Social media, how do we find you? Uh, Kofi Jama, Twitter. Uh, Kofi Jama, K O F I J A M A R. People mistake it for L at the end, mm -hmm. but it's R at the end, J A M A R. So on Twitter, at Kofi Jama, Instagram, Kofi Jama, YouTube, Kofi Jama, on all streaming platforms, Kofi Jama. Mm -hmm. And you get like a wide cal catalog of my, all my songs, and you get to listen. Yeah. Yeah, so he has content. Once you listen to Dangerous and it blows you away because promise me it will, all you have to do is just go back to his music and, and yes. revise him. Drink, allow him to, to drink you or you drink him. I don't know <laughs> the, what kind of drinking there'll be, but just allow it, okay? He sounds really good. When are you coming back to Ken? Soon. Soon? Yes. Okay. Soon. Before the year ends? Hopefully. What hopefully? The year is almost tomorrow is December. You better come back. <laughs> I might be spending Christmas here, you know. Oh! Yes, so. Uh. I told you he's almost Kenyan, guys. <laughs> he's almost Kenyan now. All right. Thank you so very much, Kofi Jamar. Uh, he will be showing you what he's made of with a couple of his tracks. And uh, he, please, you don't want to go anywhere because he's, he's a performer. He's not just a, a cool guy who sits and, and, and loves culture and history. He's also a performer, and I don't think you should miss that. Meanwhile, don't touch your dial because the wine in the morning is not over yet. Hashtag is Thursday Vibes.